guys and guys, this is Vaughn, and welcome back to Pixelmon! Pixelmon, sorry if that was weird, I just adjusted my microphone. So, cool thing happened yesterday, two days ago, I hit $100 on my Pat Patreon account, and as a result, I purchased my very first microphone shock mount. Do you know what that means? So, like, uh, I have a Blue Yeti microphone, and it sits on my desk on, like, the little stand that it came with, and it's pretty sensitive. So, like, if my desk gets bumped or rumbles, like, my, my PC tower is also sitting on my desk, so sometimes it picks up, like, the vibrations of the, the PC, and the other day that was a big issue for it. it. It was picking it up, and a lot of people were complaining about it. When I did the uh, recording with Slipgitter, this is missing another item. I just replaced this. The Pokemon, I think, just fall in here and knock them off. Uh, but yeah, when I, when I did that little scene yesterday with Slipgator, he was like, I can hear this loud noise, and I ended up putting like a shirt underneath my microphone and then like holding it down with one hand so it wouldn't rattle. And I was like, you know what? I am done. I hit $100 on Patreon. It's $100 a month from wonderful, amazing supporters like you guys. And, and I decided I'm going to buy... I'm going to upgrade my equipment, and so I bought... I ordered it on Amazon. Oh, I need to heal my dudes. I ordered it on Amazon, and it's not here yet. But hopefully it'll come very soon, and I will no longer have to worry about any more weird sounds. So what are we doing today? Well, just like we said yesterday, last episode, uh, we are we need to we need to level Gyarados up. I I took uh, Espeon off because you guys have convinced me. That I don't need Espeon because uh, my Metagross is Steel and Psychic. So I've already got a Steel and Psychic guy. I've got my Grass guy. I've got an Ice guy. Fire and Ghost. So I'm not going to find another Fire guy. We're just going to level Chandelure and then Dragon and, or Flying and Water, right? It's a shame he's not a Dragon type. So it seems like the two, the two highest rated people that you guys recommend me get at this point. One is Dragonite. And the other one is an electric type. Uh, and I do have a couple of electric types. Of course, we've got the, the Mareep that we just caught. And we also have uh, the, and I, apparently I was saying this wrong, the Elekid? Electabuzz. Elek, Electikid. Elekid. Elekid. Electabuzz. I think that's what I was doing. I was saying Electikid or Elekid or something like that. I don't know. So I might EV train him. Um, I don't, th I already have an Ampharos that's a pygmy, but I don't think I EV trained him, so I don't know that I would want to use him, but he's a pygmy, and then I, what level is he? Level 35, yeah, so that's hardly even worth worrying about, or, uh, a lot of people suggested another electric type that I don't think I have, it was like a, it was a star you maybe? Is it a star? No, that's water. Uh, there were some other electric type that people suggested, but I think, I think what I want to try to do is catch the Dragonite, and that's that's fa from La Lapras or something. I can't remember. I'll have to look it up. Also, you may be wondering what the heck is all of that. Well, I went caving again. I did speed caving, and and that's basically I got on a flying guy and I flew. I went through my gym portal, which is like on an island right next to the ocean, and then I flew on my gym on a flying guy just out forever and ever and ever and ever, and I dropped into the ocean, and then I dug straight down, and I just found tons of caves, because they're all unexplored out that way, because there's a lot of still unexplored caves here too, but way out there, no worries whatsoever. And so that that is my haul. I At, a, at several points in time, I actually had more diamonds than I had gold, and once I fortune three these diamonds, I will have way more diamonds than I'll have gold, so that's... That's cool, but it's like frustrating too because it's gold is so freaking hard to get, man. But once I get my oh yum, once I get my guys to like level seventy five ish or so, I want to be able to give them gold. So it's good to have this. Oh baby, oh baby. So let's let's smelt up all of this and uh, let's turn all of this into golden apples because we will eventually. Oops, that's the wrong one. We will eventually turn these all into rare candies and feed them to my team. Uh, and, and I feel a little bit better. I know that Beef is doing the same thing. So if if he says it's okay, then I feel 
like it's okay. So there's 10 more golden apples. That's only 10 rare candies. It feels like a lot, but it's also not a lot. Oh, look, we've got more gold here, and we've got more gold here. Let's do it all. There's nothing else that we need this gold for whatsoever. There's one whole iron ingot there, or iron ingot, gold ingot. And another six apples. Great. So those will turn... I'm going to put them in my ender chest, along with the two rare candies that I have from before. So future awesomeness. There's MK falling from a high place. She's probably live streaming. I am not for sure for sure. By the way, um, I think H-Bomb is interested in the Kabuto. We were talking about it on Skype the other day, and he's got a little bit of real world stuff going on right now, so he can't trade for it, but I'm gonna, I told him I would hold on to it for him. Oh, that's like a cave noise. I was like, what is that weird sound? It's the cave noise. Okay, so what we're going to do today is I think we're going to hunt down a Lapras and we are going to train, 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 train. There's no room in that one. Uh, I think I'm going to focus... For a while there, I wasn't sure, like, how I wanted to train because I do want to train uh, the other ones as well. But I think what I want to do this episode is really focus on training our, our Gyarados. And I've got a lucky egg on him instead and we're going to take these xp shares off of these guys in fact uh, I, I could take them off but as long as they don't i don't bring them into battle they should be fine to keep on the bar uh, mostly i'm just gonna just try to power level him but we're gonna also find that lapras so and by the way you guys keep saying you see litwicks that are shiny litwicks and and they aren't they're not shiny litwicks it's just that the way that they're little I mean, maybe, maybe, maybe I found one and didn't see it, but I, one person every episode says, oh, you passed a shiny, shiny Litwick, and it's, it's almost never a shiny Litwick, because, oh my god, I can't believe I just did that. What is that? What is this? But anyway, it's, it's just the way that the, the light reflects through the little lens. I bet this is from Dyer. This looks like Frost Gym thing. The Frost Gym returns. Bring yourself to the nether portal of Cold Point Rules. Level 60 caps, 6 versus 6. Bring your booty. Prepare for beat down contact dire dwarf. Interesting. Unfortunately, as much as I would like to wreck you, uh, none of my guys are level 60 anymore. They're all level 70. Ooh, gold. They're all like level 70 plus. Get with the times, broham. Level 60. Who has level 60 Pokemon anymore? Get with it. Where do Lapras even spawn, man? I don't even know. Is that a boss over there? I don't think it is a boss. Just a big, giant, fat Snorlax. So let me let me figure out where the lap. Let me make sure it's even a Lapras that I'm trying to find. And we will go catch him and also probably make our way over to Boss Island so that we can power level Gyarados. What we need is a Dratini. I was incorrect with my... I don't know why I thought Lapras. We need a Dratini. And according to the wiki... Dratini spawn in the ocean and not the rivers. Now, I I remember seeing them in the past. I haven't seen one in a long time. And I just spent, like I said, a long time in the ocean doing the caving. Because, you know, you have to swim, swim up occasionally and then swim back down. So, I thought I would go out to my gym. By the way, this is where my gym is. I don't know if you can see it from here. No, we're probably too far away now. Ooh, I will take this gold, though. For anyone who's new to my channel, hello! Welcome. It's hard sometimes to remember that there's always new people on my channel. <gasps> That's a boss. It's a boss, Rapidash. Oh, it's beautiful. You're gorgeous. Please be my friend. Um, I'm shooting a guy out, but we have a lag. Oh, it's a yellow boss too. Yellow bosses usually I think are the highest levels. So let us meet. Okay, so that's fire type. So let's switch to ice then. We don't want to use our grass guy on this guy. And, oh man, I wish you could get a yellow Rapidash. They're probably still one of my favorites. I wish the model was really nice, but I really like them. Oh wow, it took me out. Holy poop. All right, let's switch to the grass guy then. Let's earthquake it. I guess fire is powerful against ice, huh? I didn't think about that. And let's finish it off with crunch. Nope. Oh, so much good XP. So that should give Gyarados a lot of XP. Delicious. Ooh, ooh, Earthquake! Ah, oh, dig. That would be... Ooh, Blizzards! That's not bad. 
Electrolyzer. Oh, that's what we need for healing our elect Electabuzz, but we already have like a bunch of them. So that's that was not a bad haul. I wish that that had been an Earthquake TM. That would have been amaze, amaze, amazing. But I will, I will take the Rapidass boss. Welcome back, or goodbye, MK. I'm having internet problems there. Oh, you look like a pygmy too. I had spent so long looking for pygmy ones, and I never found one. Anyway, let's... I'm going to wander around looking for one of these dang Dratinis. I might move out of this area. And of course, if I find any more bosses, I'll bring you guys back for that. But we need to find ourselves a Dratini. Dratini! I see one. I see one. I see one. Fantastic. Oh, 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 oh. We need to get a dude that we can fight it with. I meant to do that before I went out here. And we just so happened to have a server reboot. So I could I would try I was trying to put my PC down and I couldn't do it. Okay, there we go. Please don't have despawned. There you are. There you are, fantastic. It doesn't really matter who I throw out. It would be really cool if you were a pygmy. I bet you're not though. Oh, that's a dragon air. I think that's like the Yeah, that's the next evolution. I don't know if I should get a level I, I the 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 cool thing is that it'll already be higher level, but the bad thing is that it's possible that it'll have it needs to have learned some certain moves that it will never learn because it's already such a high level. Hmm. And of course Akris is sleeping and it's raining and it's dark. Come on. Are you awake now? Take off. Okay, okay. I'll swipe again. This dang thing can keep healing itself. Okay, bag. Pokeball. Well, this is good because it's nighttime. I do still kind of want to, like, catch them all. It's just such a, a, a tall task. And I want to catch them all pygmy. <laughs> which is even more difficult. This should work. I see it working. There it is right there. That's my ball. There we go, Dragonair. What size are you? Man. She took some damage. Acris did. Boink. Here we go. Oh, that's a cool thing. Small. Cool. I kind of want to see if there's a pygmy one in there. It's hard. I don't know what what size is the, of the one that I just caught is. Let's just try again. This one's level 41. Dang. What do the smaller ones look like? Like, what's this? What is the size? Is it Dragon Knight before this, right? Um, fight, false swipe. You're probably gonna die, aren't you? Fine. Yeah, you're dying. Well. It just so happens that I should probably use Gyarados because he's water. So, oh, I killed it. I bet it was Pygmy Tau. No, it probably wasn't. Just trying to see if there's another one. I guess it shouldn't even matter because I don't have... Acris is passed out. Well, at least we know they spawn here, so... And I guess it doesn't really matter. Ooh, a little bucket of water. Um, if I... If I have a Pygmy one... It's just, I would rather have a pygmy one. Dang it. Okay, I am gonna... I'm gonna lounge around here. I'm gonna go heal up first. And then I'm gonna lounge around here and see if any more spawn that look obviously pygmy. Because I would rather have a pygmy one. But I may do a little leveling off camera as well. Right now, he is level 52 because we got that boss. So hopefully we'll find some more bosses. That would be amazing. I think that might just be a pygmy tentacruel. Do I have a pygmy tentacruel? I do not have a pygmy tentacruel. Let us find out if that is a pygmy tentacruel. I've never thought about catching a tentacle before, but I am kind of curious if it is one. I, I discovered because uh, recently EV training one of the guys, Tentacruels was one of the few guys that gave off the EVs of whatever it was, special defense or something. And I realized that a lot of them are pretty high level, actually. I didn't know that. Uh, is it dusk? I don't think it's dusk. It looks like it's dusk because it's raining, but I'm pretty sure it's like midday. Stupid rain. Go away. I could set my... Uh, Ooh, he's out. I could set my uh, particles to minimal so that it, you don't hear it anymore, but I always forget to change it back, and then I get annoyed. Of course, I'm also in fast graphics right now. I hate the fact that we have all these, these amazing trees cause me not to be able to play not in fast graphics. Come on, catch him. Catch him, catch him, catch him. Yay! We caught him. Fantastic. Let's see what he looks like. If you're not a pygmy, then I don't care. Ah, oh, you're just a runt. 
Should have killed you for the XPs. Into the garbage you go. That was a waste of two... A waste of two balls. Say lovey. Oh. A little bit of lag there. Okay, I'm just kind of walking along here, killing stuff and looking for more Dratini. Boss, 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 boss. I will take you, Mr. Boss, or Mrs. Boss. Mrs. Boss, it is indeed a Mrs. Boss. Level 110 Soul Rock. Let us bring out Callisto. Soul Rocks. I don't even know what Soul Rocks are. Are they fire? It did a lot of damage to my ice guy, so it probably is fire. Yep. Ouch. Should have brought out. Oh, you escaped? Wait, what just happened? Did it explode itself? Oh, Gyarados. Okay, so it did explode itself. So I didn't catch anything, but it. It dropped. Wait, oh, Gyarados is level 54. Wait, what just happened? Okay, so. It died. I guess it blew itself up. But I got the XP for it. So I didn't get any drops, which sucks, but I did at least get the XP. So that's. That's something at least. Now we need to go find that halfway house and heal ourselves. And keep an eye out for Dratini and more bosses. This little. This episode, my gosh, this little ep this little guy just totally aggroed me. You can see him over there. I'm pretty sure he's a pygmy, so... <laughs> I didn't plan to be catching a bunch of pygmies today, or non-pygmies, since a lot of them are not actually pygmies, but this is... I don't have a soul rock, that's why I don't know what type it is, and this is the smallest one that I think I've ever seen, and it aggroed me. I was just gonna walk on by, but no, it aggroed me. It might not be a pygmy, I'm worried now, and of course... Hecarus is not doing much damage to it, but if I use anyone else, I'm worried that I will kill it. So let's let's do this. Come on. Oh, but at least at least I'm getting a lot more XP for Gyarados by putting that uh, lucky egg back on him. That was a smart move, you guys. So thank you for that. I don't know why I forgot about those. Like I just was obsessed with the XP shares for some reason. And those are nice. Those are definitely nice. But if you just want to focus on one guy, man, those XP shares are the best. Okay, he's in the red now. She's in the red. Uh, bag. Pokeball. Ultra Ball. Let's do this. Come on, you reds! Ooh, and I want to kill that Lyron over there. So many things that I want to capture and kill and eat and... Get back in that ball! Dang it! I hope that it's not another one that doesn't... If it's not a pygmy, it's just another waste of more more balls, you know? And I'm like, oh, is that a pygmy larvista? Holy crap, man, this episode. Come on, come on, come on. Get in get in my bag. Yes, 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 yes. Yes! Ooh, 50%. This may be a small larvista. Ugh, I can never tell. It, uh, we're gonna try. We're gonna catch him. Got um. Let's see. Okay, we're not gonna heal first. We're gonna look at everybody. Okay, Soul Rock, Pygmy. Please, Larvista, be a Pygmy. Please, put Larvista, be a Pygmy. Ordinary. It wasn't even small. Good. But I've caught so many of those stupid guys and deleted them. You would think that eventually I would know what they look like. Anyway, finally stopped raiding, but I'm gonna make a cut here. Well, I haven't found any more Dratini since that first batch, but we are up to level 56 on Gyarados, so I think. We're just going to focus on power leveling him. I would like to get him to level 60 by the end of this episode. I feel like that's an achievable goal. The higher the levels get, of course, the harder it is to... What level are you? The harder it is to get more levels. And I would like to get him to like 75, 80 before I feed him some rare candy. Uh, so if we, you know, reduce it a, a couple of times, you know, like we're going to go to... Are we out of earthquakes? We might be out of earthquakes on him. Uh, if we go to like 60 this episode, maybe 70 next episode, 75, or maybe even 65, 70, 75, something like that. I feel like that's possible. Uh, I don't know that I will, you know, because it, it's really boring to me, like, going out here and grinding like this. It's a little bit exciting when you see bosses and, like, interesting Pokemons, but for the most part, I find it pretty boring. So I don't think that I would, and I think you guys probably find it pretty boring, too. I wouldn't want to do this for, like, six episodes in a row. I did not mean to hit Rain Dance, but whatever. Let's Dragon Dance. Hopefully this doesn't kill me. Good. And then an Aqua Tail. Probably wipe you out. One hit. If it actually hit. Oh, gosh. Let's switch out because I just don't want him to die. Because if he dies, then he doesn't get any XP. I'm on my way back to the 
the little halfway house where there's a healer, but there's so many delicious things to kill along the way. You can see it in the distance there. We're almost there. Uh, anyway, I, I guess I will do a lot of this off camera, and I will bring you guys back, obviously, for cool stuff. See you, Boss Graveler. It looks like he's fighting someone, but I assume he is not. And we got him. Fantastic. Let's switch out to Callisto. It blew itself up. I didn't even get to attack. Wow. Okay. Well, at least we got the XP from that. That's the second boss in a row now that has exploded itself instead of letting me get the drops from it. Dang guy, man. Okay, well. Lupix. Vulpix? Lupix. What kind of dyslexia do I have today? We are level 57 now, I think. Let's see. 57. So that's not too bad. We are, we're, ta we're taking care of business. And I, I will continue doing what I'm doing, and hopefully we will find another boss. And hopefully if we do find another boss, it will not explode itself. Oh, we're 58! Hopefully it will not kill itself before it drops something. Because I need some TMs, dang it! Boss Colette! Boss Colette! This is not the Boss Colette! It's Eradicate! A stupid Eradicate! There is the Boss Colette! We're gonna crush his face! And we're gonna switch over to Piccolo! And assuming I have an Earthquake left, we are- Oh, I didn't even do anything with you! Earthquake! Bam! We actually got another boss, and we got drops, and we got another Blizzard! Wow! What are the freaking odds of that, of getting two blizzards in one one outing? Oh, look at this poor Matang. Someday there'll be like a boss Matang and you won't even know it because you won't be able to see it. Anyway, we need to go heal up a little bit and then we are level... Are we level 59 yet? I don't think we are. 58. We're so close though. I wondered if I'd ever see this guy. This is uh, the, the random pig that spawned... Uh, one time when we didn't have the mod installed and Beef named it with the name tag. It's pretty hilarious. Level 11 Slope Pig. Wild. You're too low of a level for me to even level on, so I shall let you live, Slow Pig. Although I do wonder if you are a pygmy and what you would evolve into if I caught you. Bam, there it is. Level 60. I wasn't quite expecting it. I just took out a, it was like a level, I don't know, 30 Machoke, and I didn't expect it to be enough XP to, to level him, but I guess he was closer than I thought, otherwise I would have brought him on. I like these Rhydons because with Water Dudes you can generally one-shot them. Come on, Rhydon. So I think that's probably going to be it for this episode, but I do have 35 levels, and when I was speed caving earlier, or yesterday off camera, I, I used my diamond shovel to plow through a couple of gravel veins that I came across, and it must have broken along along the way somewhere and I didn't notice it. So I am out of a diamond shovel. So I think, to close off the episode, uh, we're going to head back to the old Baserooni, and we are going to put 30 of these levels into a new diamond shovel. And next episode, I don't know if next episode we're going to continue leveling Gyarados. I'm going to keep leveling him kind of off camera as much as I can. Uh, we'll have, you know what we should do? Is there a PC here? I have a PC in my inventory, so I don't know why I'm going back, but let's use this PC. What does the Dratini that we caught look like? Dragonair. Dragonair. So HP is pretty high, attack is pretty high, speed is pretty good. His moves are Leer, Dragon Race, Slam, and Agility. So what I need you guys to do, should I... Did he... Is there any moves that he can't he can't learn because he's too old? <laughs> Basically, you can't treat an old Dragonair new tricks. Uh, should I catch another one? Should I even use him? I have him as a dragon type. You know, also you guys had mentioned Frodo. Well, I have a pygmy Salamence. This one isn't Frodo, but this one I think we EV trained this one, didn't we? I think. Oh, he's got focus energy on him. Then probably not. Why does he have focus energy on him? Why would I... How did you turn into a Salamence with that on you? I feel like I would have replaced that. After all the anger that you guys went through for me keeping that over other moves in the past. Yeah, I don't know that that looks EV trained. Maybe... I can't remember. I can't remember. A dragon type does seem good. It's either dragon, dragon or electric, right? That seems like the plans. Protect, fly, crunch, dragon breath. 
I don't know if those are good moves either. He is level 54, though. So we've got Dragonair, we've got Salamence, and we've got the potential Electric guy. So what, what of those three types do you think we should focus on? And do you think we should EV train our new Electabuzz? Or should we use our Ampharos that we already have? I mean, he's only level 35, so that's not a big deal. I don't think we EV trained him, though, did we? I really should have written down which ones we were EV training. I'm, I'm not going to go back and look at my episodes. Maybe you guys remember and can tell me. Anyway, I will meet you guys back over at my base so we can enchant that spoon and get going. We have our Shovel of Justice. It's time to enchant it. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Somebody suggested that we should put an enchanting table in the library. That's a really good idea, actually. We have lots of diamonds, so we should just start building all the things with diamonds. What? What did we get? Efficiency 4 and breaking 3 and fortune 2. So all of the flint shall be mine. It shall be mine. I was hoping that I'd turn around there'd be a boss right here. Keep seeing that thing. It's kind of weird looking. Keep thinking that it's something else. I should take it down, but we won't yet. Let's just do a real quick sweep of the area. Make sure there's no, no bosses lurking. That would be a really cool way to end the episode. Would be to have another boss fight even if it exploded without dropping any TMs. I just know that I'm going to end up getting... This guy is massive. I'm just going to end up getting some amazing TM off camera, and I will be really sad that I didn't catch it on camera. All right. No bosses for me. No bosses for you. But that was a pretty good episode. We got up to f level 60. Level 60. That's a, good, that's a good number. I'm feeling good about that. And soon, soon we will take over the world. And, and maybe we will put together a team of level 60s, because he is level 60 now. Uh, maybe we will. Because Willow, hey Chris, Arya, maybe we will. Hmm. That's an idea. Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. That is an idea. Anyway, thank you guys, as always, for watching. My name is Vaughn, and I will see you guys next time.